here we go. Look at this. There it is there. Now, um, but I need to explain this. I was in the Greece in the 80s. Yeah, I'm that mm. old. <laughs> uh, and I went there for about six weeks and we travelled around. And I had this dish. And what they used to do was they had a, a lovely old olive oil stone jar. They light the fire in it. They put the fire to one side, put the lamb in, all the bits and pieces, seal it up with the clay and come back two and a half hours later. Mm. They also did it with bread. And I've never forgotten it. So, with slow, a nod to that... Cook. Yes, it basically should be falling off the bone. Now, they do use leg for this dish. I'm using shoulder because I think it's a bit more forgiving. Well, my Greek friend, Lou, yeah. she uses shoulder all the time. Right. Because she said it's, it doesn't... It's got more fat. Yes, it's about 20% it... fat content. Yeah. And sometimes, if you have a leg of lamb, it can be quite dry. So I would tend to use a shoulder. So the marinade is very simple. Here I've got some garlic. A little bit of olive Quite oil. a lot of garlic. Quite a lot of garlic. <laughs> well, we are going to cook it for two and a half hours, Ruth. Okay. Um, a little bit of dried oregano. In that mm. goes. Lemon juice. In that goes. Salt and a bit of pepper. I like pepper, so I'm going to put quite a bit of that in. And stir that up. And that goes onto the lamb. I'm going to do that over the potatoes so it doesn't go on the, the board. The shoulder of lamb I've deep cut say, with a sharp deep knife. Have you gone to in the there? bone. Wherever you can get right through to the bone, the, okay. the, the deeper the better. So it's almost like that. So when that cooks, as you'll see later, it opens up and the fat comes out. It also means that the marinade can get in. In this tray here, I've got potatoes, which you can parboil if you want. It's up to you. Big tomatoes or plum tomatoes like that, and some peppers. Yeah, because with those potatoes cook, the tomatoes obviously cook more quickly than the potatoes. They will, but that becomes part of the juice, of the, of the oh, stock yeah. you serve with oh, it. OK. So the, the marinade, I'm just going to pour over the top, and you can leave it overnight if you really want to. It's up to you. Um, it, the lemon juice will change the structure of the meat mm. slightly on the outside, but not necessarily the right way through. Now, let's wash my hands. And then... Now, the original dish in Greece that we cooked was cooked in baking parchment, and the lady who I stayed with would wrap it up mm. and put it into the oven. With a nod to that, I'm using a little bit of parchment to keep the juices in. So what you need to do is put a bit of foil... Like your Christmas turkey. Like my Christmas Make your little turkey. Turkey. That goes into an oven, which is around about 180, for about two hours, OK? Might be a bit longer, depending mm. on the size of the piece of lamb. At the two-hour mark... I suppose you can't really overcook this, can you, or can you, you? Do you know what, Ruth? You can overcook it by an hour, perhaps an hour and a half, and it'll still taste good. Yeah. After that, it does become okay. a bit dry, even though there's 20% fat content yeah. on there. So this is after two hours. So we'll lift that off. Oh, the smell of that. And that, that, that's what we're after. So you can see that has all opened up. You yeah. see the steam on there. Now you turn the oven up to around about 220, 200. Put a bit of oil on top and roast it for another Ooh. 30 minutes. And then all this lovely juice, look at that. Great, so what happens there, that reduces down and this will glaze nicely. And then two or two and a half hours, take it out and let it rest. We'll come to that in so a second. So cover it and rest it, do you? Cover it, keep it warm. warm. Now, I'm going to make a quick Greek salad That's here to go with it. Dish, isn't it? You yes. can imagine me yes. cooking that yes. on yes. Sunday. Yeah, imagine you really yeah. Yeah. cooking that, yes. <laughs> Oh, I bet you sit and eat it, don't you? <laughs> I <does>. would. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Of course you would. Now, this is the Greek salad she also taught me. So here we've got chopped tomatoes, feta cheese, now, I'm not a great lover of feta cheese, and sometimes in this dish she would put the feta cheese on at the, the, the sort of two-hour mm. stage and roast it, and, and it would go in together. I think it's an acquired taste. It's like honey me. Yeah. Oh, well, that was quite Did you ever do thing. feta cheese on toast? No. OK. No. <laughs> right. Ask. Good question. Just ask yeah, but that's a good question. Then we've got some red onion. <laughs> Uh, that sort of threw me a bit, Amy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting that. You could. <laughs> Didn't it would be very nice, but you could. Black olives, lots and lots of parsley. And then I put a little touch of vinegar, because mm -hmm. that will break down the tomatoes and also the onion. Mm -hmm. Olive oil, in that goes. Uh, lots and lots of olive oil. Mix that up. And if you can give it a sort of half an hour, 20 minutes, just to melt all together, the flavors, it's yeah. delicious. Now, I don't put any salt in here. I just put pepper, because the, the feta cheese is quite salty. Now, at the two-and-a-half-hour stage, we let it rest. So you've had the top off, yep. and then you've rested it. So I've, I've recovered it, and I've let it rest again. So you could actually leave this up to two hours to rest, and it'll be absolutely fantastic. So I will say... It'll be cold, though, won't it? Yeah, but you can just flash it through the oven again. But, okay. but even if it's covered with it, it still stays fair. It doesn't go cold. And mm. that is I'm what so we end up with there. So that's now, lemons. Yeah, we, we put some charcoal lemons on there as well, but as you'll see, the potatoes and the... And the oh, that's the, my best down. bit. Because the potato soaks up all those meat juices it, and all the it, tomato look juice. Look at that. So oh. that, that's what we're after. But also, Ruth, when you put it back in the oven, Ruth's uncovered. not going to soak up everything else. <laughs> <You're> literally <laughs> but when you starving. put it back in the oven, what happens yeah. is uh, it reduces that juice right down as well. So you get it intensifies the flavour. One thing I would like to say, also back meat. over here, is if you want to put a touch of water. Hang on a minute. 
You can put a touch of water in to keep it moist, but also I do sometimes put a lamb stock cube as well. In, in yeah, there to get just because it gives a nice bit of it. And then what we'll do is we'll just get oh, these chunks of lamb will just fall off the yes, bone. Please. I'll just come down here, look at this, onto the oh. onto the top of the shoal. Look at it, it just comes off. There, look at that. Cook right the way through. Oh, that's it's so delicious. Absolutely delicious, Aben. Look at that. There's your the lunch. Look bits. all the crunchy bits on top. Mm. Look at that. That is her lunch. Mm. Yeah, that is your lunch. Yeah, that's my, I've already too. said to them, don't so touch my lunch. It's very mm. simple stuff. And again, I cooked it in 1996, I think, the first time. There you well, go. perfect for the oh, taverna. Oh, these are always the best. You want to see the taverna we have coming oh, up. Oh, that's so delicious. The <laughs> recipe details, uh, they're there on the This Morning app.